Do, 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 do. Alrighty, hello and welcome to tonight's one time a year. April Fools, no dinosaurs. I've done this for the past, uh, I don't know, has it been three years? Three years, something like that. I only play dinosaurs if you guys are new. Most of you know the drill, but uh, yeah, once a year once a year oh boy I, i'm doing good today cut and jdx yes hopefully you're doing well too and everybody everybody doing well hopefully the opponents are going to be doing well i mean i am a little bit sad as that everybody's sad shedding a tear that's not often i play something that isn't dinosaurs but tonight is golgari skeletons they got some new recent support with the Lost Caverns of Ixalan, and they're going to get even more with Thunder Junction. So, hey, if you like the deck, you maybe want to play it a little bit more than me, more than once a year. I think it could be perhaps up your alley. But what does what does skeletons do? What can they do? Skeletons, a little bit like zombies, have some recursion going on. You can bring them back. We've got that with the Cult Conscript. It's gonna be lovely stuff. I, I gotta play a meme deck. Hmm. Maybe some meme deck. And because this is April Fools, I say skeletons, the deck that I'm talking about here, but we could do other stuff, so definitely. I'm up for just about anything. This is the the one day a year, but I could do it other days. But yeah, skeletons, lots of cheap stuff. If they kill it, we can get it back. If we meet a requirement or we pay a cost, one in a black. We can return the cult conscript from our graveyard to the battlefield only if a non-skeleton creature died under our control. I guess that doesn't really happen too much, so the cult conscript eh, maybe could probably go away. But the reassembling skeleton, that, that I think is where it's at. It costs twice as much as the cult conscript, and it has one less power, but we just keep getting it back, bring it back, and... The great thing about this, we can bring it back from the graveyard at the end of the opponent's turn. It, you can activate that ability at instant speed, which is quite nice. It doesn't have the only as a sorcery or activate only as a sorcery. Pretty good, just skeletons. Keep coming back. Cult conscript. And like I was saying, they got some more support. Headed to bed. All right, yes. JDX, get some good sleep or hopefully you guys watching in the morning. Or whenever you got some good sleep skeletons never sleep though they are undead and uh well they keep coming back certainly with corpses of the lost here i like that the second i saw it i knew back when lost caverns released i probably had to do something like this for april fools it was many months away but paying two in a black skeletons you control get plus one plus oh and have haste that's very good we finally have a sort of well another skeleton lord and when it enters the battlefield we create a 2-2 black skeleton pirate so it's an even better creature combination but plus one plus oh it becomes a 3-2 haste at the beginning of our end step if we descended that turn we can pay a life and return corpses of the lost to our hand descend each time a permanent card is put into our graveyard from anywhere we could bring it back we would lose temporarily the buff to all the skeletons, plus one, plus oh, but then the idea is you replay this on your following turn and you get to make another skeleton and you just swarm the battlefield. Uh, skeleton swarms are uh, similar, again, to zombies. But we also got with Murders of Karlov Manor. I, the second I saw this, I'm like, oh, skeletons are getting better and better. Two in the black for a 6-2 menace. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent creates two 1-1 one, one white dog creature tokens. And when this dies, each opponent loses three life. So it's already a pretty scary creature. And then it also drains them. However, it's got that disguise. We can play it face down for three as a 2-2 two, two creature with ward two. So it survives somewhat. And then we flip it up with the disguise. And if we do its disguise thing, the opponent doesn't get those dogs, which is pretty nice i must admit but just nice to have an absolutely massive massive skeleton and with menace i think more skeletons should have menace because well they are pretty scary but the true dinosaur 
not dinosaur skeleton. That's, dinosaurs are going to be on my mind tonight. The true skeleton lord, for sure, is the Death Baron. Skeletons you control and other zombies you control get plus one, plus one, and have death touch. I bet that's not going to be the last time I say dinosaurs. I almost caught myself and said, hello and welcome to tonight's fantastic dinosaur action. It's not dinosaurs. Maybe I should have added a dinosaur into this deck. So technically, technically it could have been that. But continuing on with the Death Baron, Skeletons, plus one, plus one, and Death Touch, good. Power up a lot. A swarm. Heraldic Banner also doing that. Ramping. We would choose black because every single skeleton in this deck is black. All creatures that are black get plus one, plus zero, oh, and we just ramp, and we're able to play the big stuff. Which there isn't too many big things, but it's just nice to get there a little bit more often. Binding the old gods. I am actually quite excited about this. Because it's Golgari, pretty easy, might as well put this in. I was trying to whip up something that would be kind of generally good, nice and aggressive, and binding the old gods when it enters. We destroy target non-land permanent and opponent controls. Very nice stuff. The second mode, we search for a forest, which is also... Quite nice indeed. Yes, yes. Good evening. Good evening. I think this is going to be a, a very, a very fun broadcast. I think it should be, you know, recently, decently performing with the new recent additions. But this is just a generally good thing to do with binding. And then that last mode there. Creatures you control gain death touch until end of turn. <laughs> if they weren't scary enough. Now, they also gain death touch from the death baron but uh, hey have redundancy because death touch is a very good thing and then finally well, well there's one massacre girl hitting in there it's going to be good testing this out i got that once i might up it to a couple copies but i'm only using this deck for tonight i opened up one up in murders at karlov manor so it does make sense absolutely Two and two black for a 4-4 four, four menace. Creatures you control have wither, so they deal damage in the form of 1-1 one, one counters. I always thought that was quite interesting. And whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, if its toughness was less than 1, draw a card. So they deal damage, minus 1, minus 1, based on how powerful they are, we would be drawing a lot of cards. Hopefully, with this, I'll be crossing my fingers. And there, they are the thumbnail sake with that thumbnail art. Skeletal Swarming. This is a card that's been around for a while. I always wanted to do something with it, the inspiration, but again, just didn't feel like there were enough good skeletons to make a skeleton deck at least passable. But this thing is good. The more you have out, three and a black and a green. Each skeleton you control has trample. Skeletons don't often have trample. They're pretty scary and they just keep running, so I mean naturally it does make sense. They attack each combat if able, that's fine. I want to be attacking with a swarm of skeletons. And they get plus X plus O, where X is the number of other skeletons you control. So they're bigger, they have trample. Oh, oh, naturally I have a lot of skeletons. I could have four, five every single skeleton is going to get plus five plus O and trample and they have to attack but it's even better because at the beginning of our end step we create a tapped black skeleton if a creature died this turn oh yeah. if a creature died this turn we create two okay so just normally if nothing happens we create a skeleton but if a creature dies we create two of them so the swarm gets bigger and bigger and bigger hopefully having multiple skeletal swarmings out i think it should be pretty good and you know, we got uh, 23 lands it's been a long time since i've used 23 lands and uh well we don't have a whole lot of ramping there's no sylvan scrying commune with dinosaurs arc druids charm definitely this is mostly black so the the three green for arc druids would be rough however the sideboard because it is best of three anoint the affliction it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because i don't have toxic stuff in the deck to meet that requirement i kind of well i was using it i am using it in my dinosaur deck and uh, instant speed exile a creature with mana value three or less that just hits such a wide range 
and it goes away permanently. Pretty straightforward right there. Weathered Runestone, I am a little bit scared about the Is It Phoenix matchup. Will be nice with Weathered Runestone to just stop the Phoenixes coming back. Now I could certainly trim a copy of this, maybe trim a copy of Anoint the Affliction. Overall, trim a couple copies of the things and have a more diverse sideboard, but I wanted to keep it straightforward because it is a one night only thing. Damping Sphere, Phoenix, Mono Green Devotion, Lotus Field, if we happen to face it, or anything that wants to cast multiple things in a turn. This, very good against Quintorius Combo, which I did face, unfortunately, today once. I was caught out, I didn't really have anything against Quintorius, and uh, well, it's rough. When they get that Discover chain going, Quintorius can does the trick. But they keep casting stuff, Damping Sphere, taxing it. It is a pretty hard counter against that combo deck. Extinction Event. As I'm going to continue using in my Dinosaur deck, and I would recommend if you guys haven't used it much or you're thinking about it. Ah, just do it. Rakdos, Vampires, Mono Green Devotion. Does the trick. You take out big creatures and you don't target them. And they don't come back. Lovely. Doesn't matter how big they are, they're just gone. If you're not dealing damage, mm, it is a, a beautiful, a beautiful thing. But I say we get right into it. We could be flooded, really. With the four heraldic banners, choosing black to ramp, tapping for a black mana, and the binding of the old gods. Mm. I could see some scenarios where we get uh, pretty, pretty flooded out here. I'm just, I'm just excited to swarm the battlefield. Hopefully, I get to swarm the battlefield. I feel like I've faced Dab City before. The name does sound familiar. Well, seems like a pretty good hand. We got two lands. We got that lovely, lovely cult conscript. Definitely want that swamp. And the Massacre Girl as well. Very nice to see that. The only cop... Oh, okay. Well, this could be a little bit problematic. Hmm. Now the Cult Conscript always enters tap. We'll just go with the Reassembling Skeleton. And there you go. It ain't you. Okay, okay. Yeah, Mad Dad Lab. This opponent being Dab City. It's always interesting. Kind of cool. When those connections happen. But sometimes I have faced some of you guys while I was streaming. That is... Uh, that is pretty fun too. Yeah, I bet this opponent has uh, no idea what is going on. They have probably never faced Golgari skeletons. I don't know if... Yeah. I've never seen Golgari skeletons. But it seems pretty good. Fantastic to get that Death Baron there now. Reassembling skeleton has Death Touch. That is what I want. As long as they don't have removal, the reassembling skeleton is just going to block Knight of the Ebon Legion, and then we pay two to get it back, and uh, it does enter tapped, unfortunately. It's somewhat wasted removal on that. Yeah. If they don't have... Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. They'll probably kill the Death Baron, I would imagine, to get the Death Touch off all the other skeletons. A, a brawl game? I think we could do a brawl game here. Imagine, oh, what are they doing? That's odd, huh? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Maybe after a match or two, or right after this, Scorpion, if you have to go to bed soon or something. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps. Kind of like binding the old gods. Let's get that going. I want to get the forest, searching my library for a forest card with that second mode. Take out Forerunner of the Legion, because eh, I feel like it, kind of. Seems to be going all right so far. Nice that I can just continually take out whatever creature they play. Edgar, Charmed Groom, wow, that's going to that's gonna go away. Big time. And, of course, searching for an underground mortuary. Very nice, it is a forest type. Any land I search for enters tapped, but I get that benefit of the Surveil 1. Okay, 
Okay, good stuff. Oh, he just woke up. Well, maybe I'll do one more match after this. We'll see if I remember that I'm going to do a brawl match, but I do have to make that. Yeah, let's go another binding. We'll take out Edgar. Seems good. Good to me. I do want to try and take out that artifact that Edgar has now become. If I can take out Edgar Markov's coffin, Edgar Charmed Groom is just never going to return. So that's going to be quite nice indeed. Yeah, uh, this should be good. Another forest? Okay, okay, somewhat flooded. Hopefully we see that skeletal swarming or corpses of the lost. Lovely, lovely stuff right there. Let's get that reassembling skeleton going. We'll uh, disguise this thing just so we don't give the opponent any more stuff. The Death Baron, uh, would they double block? Perhaps, but I want to leave the Death Baron behind just because... It powers up all the other skeletons that I have. So it could equal quite a bit more damage. Hopefully it's not the Vein Ripper. Minus three. Golly G. The Vein Oh boy. Well, it's going a little bit downhill. At the very least, the opponent is at 12. We're at 16. And, uh... Okay, everybody's got Death Touch. This is going to be nasty. Power everybody up. Hasty. Turn this face up. 8-3. Ooh, ooh, I, I like this power. Now we don't need that. Oh, and also, also, this is actually very nice. Some of the skeletons that I can bring back, if I surveil the skeleton and put it into the graveyard, I'm one closer, but I can also just simply play that skeleton that was put in the graveyard. It, very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Do I want to attack? We pretty much have to uh, attack with everything. I don't think there is any sort of scenario where we would win, but it has to be this turn, if anything. Everybody's got Death Touch. Lovely, lovely stuff right there. Oh, and taking out the Vein Ripper. Okay. That would be pretty nice indeed. I would imagine we're dead. With the creatures, everybody that is going to die, we would... Mostly, mostly be dead. I'm pretty sure. Uh -huh. It's not like they have to do anything specific. All the creatures dying with the Vein Ripper's ability and the Vein Ripper hitting us next turn. We don't have anybody with reach, so the Vein Ripper is, well, it's gonna freely. Freely deal damage. All right, here goes nothing. The plane crash. Okay, I definitely can do that. If I win, if I win. Boom. There we go. Man, that's a lot of... Oh. Okay, okay. It, it is the Vein Ripper. I think we all know... Mostly what the Vein Ripper does, whenever a creature dies, we lose two life, they gain two life. Not a fun scenario, however, Extinction Event is going to take out that pesky, pesky Vein Ripper. What do I want to trim? Yeah. Barrier of Bones, perhaps? Cult Conscript? I think I'll trim the Cult Conscript. That feels probably like the weakest skeleton. Hey. I have something for the Vein Ripper, at the very least, so you know, I'm definitely staying positive. I'm happy that I found something in the Extinction Event. You're not targeting the Vein Ripper, you don't have to pay the ward cost. Exile is different than dying, so you get around the trigger from the Vein Ripper as well. It's just uh, perfect, perfect for me. Does this hand look perfect? Decent enough? At the very least, we have the Barrier of Bones, but I think there is a very real chance we should be seeing the other land there the death cap glade does enter the battlefield tapped unfortunately we would need two other lands out it's the the slow land but we got the reassembling skeleton it's all right barrier of bones at the very least well, something to block the 
Oh, oh, and the Death Baron. However, I'm kind of tempted. I just want to go with Heraldic Banner. Name black. See if they have some sort of removal. I feel like that could be the case. Possibly draw it out on one of those creatures, because if I cast the Death Baron, they're definitely going to kill it, I would imagine. Or I just go Extinction Event and take out... Uh, oh, oh, hopefully no Thoughtseize. Oh. oh boy. Oh boy. Gee, I have no idea what I want to do. Even. We're going to be evening the odds. Pretty good. Pretty good. It was just uh, stupid. Well, not stupid. Uh, it's good potential. The Vein Ripper is a very good card, but it's also very nice when I can give them a taste of their own medicine. Hopefully seeing another extinction event would be nice to make Edgar just straight... Oh! Edgar just straight up go away. Huh, this is getting interesting. Do we want to make Edgar just go away? Kind of. A little bit. What else could we do? What would be good to do? Yeah, I say we just make Edgar go away. See ya. I like it. I like it. That tends to do the trick. Hopefully it's not uh, another Vein Ripper. I was a little bit worried. They do have potentially enough to play it. At six now, sadly. A couple Muta Vaults. It is going to be some pretty decent aggression. Soren putting a counter on one of them because it is a creature of all types or they just take out Barrier of Bones. Maybe. Well. At the very least, I'll stop a little bit of damage coming towards us. Those Knight of the Ebon Legions are going to be getting a little bit bigger because at least four life was lost from us. Hmm. I think it is just a Death Baron, although I'm kind of tempted to play Massacre Girl. Uh, no, Death Baron. We make Barrier of Bones, have Death Touch. We can't attack with this skeleton, but... You know, I, I like this possibility. Maybe scaring away some aggression from the opponent. Hopefully. At the very least, I trade with whatever it is. Although it seems like they are going to be pretty aggressive, sadly. Or they got the Vein Ripper, Champion of Dusk. Also, also quite painful. That was the kind of normal, usual vampire before the Vein Ripper happened. If an opponent was doing this, they would cheat out the Champion of Dusk when it enters, they draw X cards, lose X life, where X is the number of vampires they control. It's, it's not really the craziest thing. It's certainly not nearly as good as the Vein Ripper, but we're going to be going at a good rip. I kind of like that. Let's take out two creatures. Hopefully seeing a third extinction event, although I don't, uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, got a new cargo. Trying to sell the green one now. Huh. Eventually, I'll have to sell my green one. I'll probably run it into the ground, I would imagine. Yeah. Ah, we'll try for the Massacre Girl at the very least. Unfortunately, we don't have enough for that Skeletal Swarming. Could have. If I had played Heraldic Banner on previous turns, I would have had access to five mana there. Oh boy. Oh, Soren, what what are you cheating in? We're gonna be sore. Soren. Started to return. Okay. Okay. I've had my car for about almost a decade now. I got it brand new back in 2015. It's still been kept up uh, pretty good, but eventually it will return to the earth. Hmm. Huh. I guess I'll take out Knight of the Ebon Legion. Either way, it's going to be pretty painful. I don't think we're coming back from this, unless, again, we top deck something good. Okay, I like that. Yeah, down to one. Let's get her done. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, boy. 18 now. Yeah, that would be rough. Rust would be showing, and we will be 
showing our first loss of the night, unfortunately. But eh, that's all right. Certainly, I'm quite interested to potentially tweak everything that's going on here if I was going to continue using it. But I say one more match at the very least. I'll whip up a, a quick brawl deck and we'll see what we can get done. I'll try and make the brawl deck as fast as humanly possible. Yeah. So I would imagine they hate salted roads. It's not like everywhere in the world if you have snow. It's not like they all use salt. So if it's a car from a different area, not used to it, maybe they use different parts, depending on the steel, the undercoating as well. I got mine sprayed when it was brand new. I haven't really done anything else since because well, I kind of thought I wasn't driving it, but really I have driven it quite a bit. Almost 200, well, just past 200,000 kilometers, which is pretty crazy stuff. But yeah, a car from a different part of the world, I can imagine that would be rough. Kind of like things might go rough here, but there's uh, there's some good bones, as they say, with skeletons. Maybe they don't, but hey, we got the cult conscript maybe facing off against the Zorius control. So it's going to be extra funny. A grit mixture, huh? I guess we do use a little bit of sand and salt here, huh? 100% get that new car undercoated. I can't recommend that enough. And then maybe you touch it up, something like that. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Touch it up every few years or just get it for a checkup or oil sprayed is also a thing that they do here. Undercoated. Yeah. I know some people, some places, they don't use salt at all. It's a certain mixture I, I can't remember what it is a natural mixture so it's good for the environment beets or something to do with beets I think huh now the opponent is probably having no idea what they want to get rid of corpses of the lost is a little bit unfortunate actually I was kind of looking forward to playing that at some point well we'll just keep up the aggression the elite spellbinder is not going to be blocking either of the reassembling skeletons at all. Okay, well, at least you're taking care of some of the vehicle. That's good. Hmm. As long as you don't have to apply it every year, I think that's a little bit of a bother. I guess it really does depend on the product, but I always thought if you're attaching or spraying or applying something to your vehicle. You'd want it to last at least a couple seasons, two years. Winter tires you know, last a couple seasons at the very least. An undercoating, a spraying, I guess depending on what type of undercoating. Huh. Okay, yeah, I'd be interested. I think the oil spraying undercoating for us, it's kind of like a, an orangey color that they put on. A Thought Not Seer. Well, when Thought Not Seer leaves the battlefield, we draw a card. I want to draw a card. There you go. Stick it to him. Binding the old gods. I like this. Good. Ooh. Man, that's perfect. We just keep up some lovely... Oh, and we... Got a woodland cemetery to boot. I'll take it. That's pretty decent aggression. You got a bunch of little creatures. Heraldic banner makes absolutely perfect sense. And those creatures coming back. Mm, perfect. Hopefully the opponent doesn't have too much graveyard hater. It's going to be rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clear orange. Hmm. I haven't really ever seen it applied just... When I've gone to pick up my vehicle. Hmm, underground mortuary, I like it. A swamp on top, we don't need that. It would be nice to play Corpses of the Lost. I say we we do that now. Power up all the other skeletons that I have. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Two, a 4-1, a 4-2, and a 3-1. This is getting 
uh, pretty deadly, pretty scary. Do we want to bounce it? Yeah, let's bounce it. Let's make another one. Very nice. Replay the corpses of the lost plus reassembling skeleton plus the other skeleton in our graveyard. Maybe a cult conscript at some point, but like I was saying, we can only return it if a non-skeleton creature died under our control. We don't have a whole lot of non-skeletons in the deck, so yeah, that's going to be uh, that's going to be rough. Loading Magic the Gathering, good, good. Let's see what we can do to this opponent. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be good. going to be deadly. Oh, watch out. Ruthless aggression. Somebody's got a block. Just keep getting them back. Oh, man, if I can take down Azorius Yorion Control. Hmm, I like it. It's kind of nice. We just keep replaying the corpse corpses of the lost. Keep making a creature each time. Hmm. That should do the trick. Hopefully they don't play Yorion itself anytime soon redoing all these lovely creatures with enter the battlefield effects of bouncing them and uh, it's pretty pretty nasty definitely nasty bouncing that cloud blazer however it's going to continue to be nasty if we keep playing this painful painful yeah I think I'm going to trim the cult conscript See if I can find some other skeleton, perhaps, or just maybe some other creature that might fit the overall plan a little bit better. I think they're going to run out of options eventually here. Just replay it. Oh, man, they block it. This is, this is lovely stuff. You got to admit, this is pretty, pretty cool. Ruthless! Okay, I'm uh, yeah, I'm liking that. Oh, you block, they die. I replay and I bounce corpses of the lost and replay that and Prototyphorexia. Unfortunately, not so great, but we'll just keep keep replaying that stuff. Hasty, hasty aggression. The reassembling skeletons are well tapped when they enter. That'd probably be a little bit broken if they entered untapped, but hey. I, I like this. I like this a lot. Pretty hard to keep them down, but again, this opponent could have some graveyard hate for Is It Phoenix prepared for that matchup, and we might run into it in game two. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Maybe somehow, some way, protecting our own graveyard, maybe that has to be part of the sideboard plan. Because if we weren't able to continually replay the reassembling skeleton that would be rough rougher a reflector mage tends to do the trick I would imagine that's probably going to be it oh two two reflector mages rough rough stuff yeah okay well, we got flooded and we got dead. Sadly. Huh. Couldn't quite punch through, but you know what would have punched through? A certain stampede dinos list. I imagine things would have gone, well, a little bit better perhaps, but that's not what we're playing. Extinction event. I like exiling the creatures that they have. No more coming back, no more bouncing. Doesn't make a lot of sense, perhaps. Does the weathered runestone make some sense? Maybe. Maybe. Nah. Nah. Cult conscript dies. If that dies, it's well, it's basically useless. Hmm. I guess it makes more sense in just a general black mid-range or black aggro deck that has other creatures of a different type. Dwayne the Rock, yes. I think that's pretty fantastic stuff. Hopefully that pet stays around because sometimes the pet for a certain holiday or a joke or whatever 
doesn't stay around. It goes away because I'd certainly love to continue to use it. But I think that looks like a lovely hand. We got you know, three lands, the lovely corpses of the lost. Hopefully that is some good aggression for the opponent. First time in ages. Oh, it's been ages since I've played Arena this afternoon. Hmm. Okay, Death Cab Glade. Good, good, good. Let's get that corpses. Get that aggression going. Oh, you blocked the reassembling skeleton. Man, man. It's not the craziest aggressive deck, but just getting to replay it again and again, I think it feels right. Bring it back. Could have maybe kept the corpses of the lost, but I wanted to replay it. Urza Lord Protector. Wow, you know, I don't like that. And you know what helps to take that out? Binding the old god. See you later. None of that funny business. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll do it. Huh. A little bit worried about sweepers, potentially. Oh, Reflector Mage. Not that. Okay, well, we bounce the token fine by me. You don't get a token back because it's not an actual card. That'd be kind of cool. Barrier of Bones we don't really need. We have a lot of stuff that we are going to be playing. Oh boy. I'll leave Corpses of the Lost there. I have lots of other creatures coming up next turn. A Death Baron, Reassembling Skeleton. Hopefully it's not another Reflector Mage. That would have been rough if they would have bounced corpses and I couldn't replay it. But it still would have been, you know, quite alright, I would imagine. A Swamp as well. I like the sounds of that. Hmm. Cast it face down for three. Two. Hey, you know what? Let's go with the Death Baron. Let's give everybody Death Touch or just that other reassembling skeleton. Hopefully. I would imagine bad things are about to happen, but you never know. You never know. Hey, you know what? Let's bounce it. I want to be able to replay it next turn, have another hasty. Skele oh! Oh! Grant me revenge! And if you do not listen, then the hell with you! Oh, I bet this is the first time this opponent has lost to a skeleton's deck. One of the first times in Magic the Gathering Arena history, probably. I'm s certainly not the first time, but uh, doesn't happen often. Kind of like losing to a dinosaur deck a stampy dinosaur deck huh all right well swamp definitely nice very nice to see that barrier of bones because i don't have too many turn one plays hmm yeah i'll keep that hunted bone brute i like it big creature menace just happy to see it a little bit more often but definitely going with Heraldic Banner next turn. Hopefully they don't have a counter spell. It's definitely a very real possibility, but probably not with this Azorius Yorion deck. Mostly focused on permanents, enchantments, and creatures that they can bounce and get a little bit of extra value from after they re-enter. No more Reflector Mage. Don't do it. Oh, not... Ah, oh, man. Well, it's a little bit rough. It's a lot of creatures that either exile temporarily, exile permanently, any number of painful things. However, we'll just play the other one. Fantastic, because we can make use of the mana right away with Heraldic Banner, because it's an artifact. You get to tap it right away, because that's uh, quite nice. I've always loved that fact about... 
heraldic banner or any other mana rock doesn't always happen i don't have usually something that costs one or two might just be a command with dinosaurs potentially if i am playing that deck usually heraldic banner i would choose green so commune at times has been nice to make use of that however corpses of the lost is going to make this opponent feel pretty lost attack with the only creature that has four power whoever blocks dies lovely stuff skyclave apparition also nice because i get a token back very good mm -hmm. hopefully might actually go double hunted bone brute next turn maybe it's about to get a little bit problematic however yeah play it face down they pretty much know exactly what it is but hey that's all right i think we got lots of lovely aggression there's only one creature that they have that can just block and live with that so might as well be as aggressive as possible return the corpses get another token plus probably that reassembling skeleton i would imagine i'll probably flip over the hunted bone brute though flip it over plus play corpses of the lost that'd be pretty good interesting okay okay that makes some dogs very very nice indeed i still get to attack with it next turn so now well, that's gonna be lovely and deadly just keep powering them up and get it back attack smack them i would imagine those dogs go away but hey we've got a pretty pretty decent chance here would be kind of funny if I can pull off some win I gotta say it's lovely to play something quite aggressive differently aggressive yeah now let's get it back swarm them that's the name of the game and hopefully a skeletal swarming is coming up at some point here that'd be kind of cool they will be bouncing that thought not seer unfortunately looking at her hand probably choosing corpses of the lost i would imagine when it re-enters huh. could be rough oh boy Oh, no they're clawing their way back oh massacre girl actually kind of like that quite a bit you know what let's do it anybody that blocks gets quite a bit weaker they can pretty much afford to take that damage they're going to be gaining a whole lot of life the cloud blazer bouncing reflector mage re-entering bouncing the massacre girl probably pretty sure that would happen now they do yorion interesting maybe they have another yorion in their hand they have enough to pay the three and play it odd huh soul guide lantern so there there is that graveyard hate that i was worried about sadly we lose that reassembling skeleton ouch yeah. heraldic banner gonna play another heraldic banner and uh well we'll see what happens to this opponent all that stuff is getting pretty big pretty powerful massacre girl would take out at least two two things i like it and we should be drawing some cards with the massacre girl's ability there so massacre girl two creatures oh very very nice indeed well drazzy displacer actually i imagine is going to bounce somebody 
I will try to take out whoever we can. Hmm. Ah, ah that's, uh, it's annoying. I figured shenanigans like that would happen. That's probably going to be it for this match, I think. Tends to do the trick. Yeah, we're not coming back. We're not busting through beating them up. Extinction event certainly would have been quite, quite lovely indeed. Well, I had a good time. There's something there. There's definitely got to be something there. Huh. Right. Quickly, quickly, I'll make a brawl deck, a brawl list. Brawl time, yes, Scorpion. You said it. And like I mentioned, skeletons to start. We can do whatever. I could face some of you guys normally in a regular match, explore, but very quick. As quick as possible. Well, this is going to be actually a fun challenge. Huh. Okay, okay, format. Brawl. Brawl, brawl, brawl. Friendly brawl? Regular brawl? Just brawl. Pretty sure. Okay, my commander will be... Uh, no, not Galta. Somebody... Red and green. It definitely has to be red and green. Huh. Uh, Xenagos. I like Xenagos. Where is Xenagos? Oh, you don't have to turn it off. Keep it on. Fine by me. Historic Brawl. I think that's what I want. Maybe it's not the right Brawl. Friendly Brawl. There we go. Senegos, God of Revels. Fired up. Missed the A. Oh. Oh, okay. I missed the A. I'll go back to regular brawl. All right. Dino. Rotting. Huntmaster, big time. All the red dinos. One of's pretty straightforward. Get that triumphant chomp. 100%. Bone Horde. Oh. All these lovely options that I haven't used in quite some time because I've wow, been enjoying Stampede Dinos so much. This is pretty cool. All the old favorites that, well, I haven't forgotten about, but I must say it's nice to see them again. Wing Bang Vantasaur. Ooh. I like the looks of that. And we definitely need some some amount of ramp coming up here. Did I get the topiary? Yeah. yeah. Well, I like the looks of that. Sylvan Anthem as well. I always love Sylvan Anthem. This was released and available on Arena before Explorer became a thing. I actually tried out Sylvan Anthem quite a bit lovely potential just because naturally dinosaurs can lean pretty heavy into green so green creatures you control getting more powerful and whenever a green creature enters you get to scry one pretty good okay well hopefully it's not weird i'll change the format if i have to do that yeah i love it i love this challenge this is good arc druids yeah yeah big time we need that Primal. Primal Might. There it is. The fantastic fight interaction spell featuring Galta. Primal Hunger. I always loved that fact. That was pretty cool to me. Okay. Okay. I think this should work out then. Primal Command? Uh, I always thought Primal Command was pretty interesting. Gaining some life, put a creature on top of its library, search for stuff. Good, good. A nice batch of stuff. Usually the command 
cycles, the command options are pretty fantastic. It is nice to have a Swiss Army knife that can do all these interesting things against, yeah, yeah, a lot of stuff. Okay, almost there, 91, 91. I say we go back to Dino, add a few more. Cam Chow, Chips mascot. I was just so happy to see a dinosaur pirate, and sadly it's not legal in uh, regular, regular formats, but I'm playing a dinosaur pirate big time. Poetic Ingenuity, I haven't used it yet. I'm, well, it's on the back burner, but whenever one or more dinosaurs I control attack, I create that many treasure tokens. That always seemed like it would be pretty good potentially for the ramping. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Forerunner of the Empire. Almost forgot the Forerunner. My goodness. Yeah, Drover. Yeah, Ixley's Lore Keeper. We got that ramp going on. Savage Stomp as well. Ooh, and a Runic Armosaur. Oh, and the Intrepid Paleontologist. Meh. I forgot about some of those new creatures, the new ramping options, just, well, it goes to show how much I have used them. Not a lot, not a lot. A wayward? Yeah. Okay, we're at 100. Should update the lands, absolutely. Looking good, root bound, good stuff, good stuff. All right, fired up, ready to go. Let's brawl. Hmm. See if this works. Crossing my fingers. Don't be glitchy. Challenge match. Friendly brawl, okay. Looks good. Okay, that's coming together, yeah. Oh boy, here goes nothing. I'm just happy I whipped that up as fast as I did. It's nice that the uh, game has the feature to automatically add lands. I don't have to go through and click a bunch of basics. Of course, it could be better optimized than this, but hey, yeah, it's pretty good. One card is invalid. Huh. That's odd. It's odd it doesn't say what's invalid. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's strange. It should say... Oh, well, I wish it would say which one was invalid. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I have to choose a... a different mode or something like that. Let me see what it says in the deck. Huh. Maybe if I switch it up. Friendly Brawl. Friendly Brawl probably is what's getting things caught up. Ah, okay. Oh, we got standard. Oh, well, we can play standard if you want. Definitely up for that. Or explore. Huh. Odd, okay. Hey. We can do this. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. We'll see if it connects. Also, it could just simply not connect for quite some time. It was hard to do friendly matches. Part of the reason why there wasn't a, a whole lot of tournaments going on 
on Arena. Some sort of a glitch that kept going on for a long, long time. And you could put on tournaments for free. So, well, Wizards wasn't really incentivized to fix that particular problem. Hmm. Now we'll get there. We'll get something fired up. I'll try it myself. Friendly Brawl, yeah, that looks good. I would imagine Friendly Brawl is the most wide ranging. You would think. Friendly Brawl, you can use any sort of mixture of cards. Hmm. Oh, yes, I think saving it as Friendly Brawl might might be the right thing just where it's getting caught up I can't think of anything else I just wish it was a little bit more straightforward oh the deck you're facing is uh, they're slightly different a mismatch odd ah okay good good stuff Hopefully it loads into the match. Maybe it takes a little bit of time to connect. Oh boy. I would have thought it would connect a little bit faster. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe I'll wait a second here. Cancel and try again. Yeah, okay, I'll cancel and try again. See how that goes. I'll redo it on my end. Yeah, the versus friends. I, I guess the glitch is still happening with all of that. Friendly Brawl. Play. Let's go. And again, maybe it just won't connect. Maybe we have to do um, an Explorer best of three friendly match. Tried a few more times, you know. Uh, would be nice to face some of you guys. Oh, okay. Okay, it's, it's working. It's working. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah is right. Let's go. Yeah, I don't really like that. Don't have a whole lot of ramp. Free mulligan. No ramp there. Guess I could keep it. We got a little bit of interaction with the trumpeting carnosaur. Yes, I, I am in as well. Let's uh, let's get him. Surprise. Now I don't mind if you watch this. It's all for fun. We're having a good time. I'm just happy it was working the ley line of abundance well 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 this is gonna get pretty bad pretty scary stuff yeah, let's uh let's reveal a mountain oh free mulligan is lovely lovely you got the the turn one dork getting fired up supercharging the ramp but bushwhack well at least you didn't have land war elves or elvish mystic fortunate I'm just happy to get a few more lands here. No dork. Oh, the Lysian Karyatid. Ugh. Painful stuff. Painful stuff sometimes. However, yeah, we'll get that giant Sendema. I don't think there's a whole lot of life gain in your deck, I would imagine. Probably not too much. I was thinking of Trumpeting Carnosaur to take out the Karyatid. Oh, maybe that Sarith. 
the Vipers thing, but no. I like Forerunner of the Empire setup. Get Ripjaw Raptor on the top. I like that. Start pinging them next turn. Draw some cards as well. It's just been so long since I played Ripjaw, but definitely happy to get a little bit of aggression with the Cinderwa. Hmm. Would be nice to draw a land that enters untapped, a green source. So Ripjaw would be pinged, draw a card. Savage Stomp could hopefully take out Sarith, the Viper's Fang there. That would be good. That is not, not so good. Well, okay. Well, let's, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Well, we gotta do something. We gotta get the pings... At least a decent amount of bodies to stop this painful 8-8. Eight, eight. That's kind of like an 8-9. Oh, oh, the Rockfall Veil. Okay. The Pingdom. Does it make a lot of sense to fight? No. No, no. Gotta wait. Get some aggression in. Go time. Wait for that Savage Stomp. Play Xenagos next turn. Double everybody. Possibly, if I have 6 mana. Go with Xenagos then Savage Stomp after Ripjaw is doubled. But it could be something nasty. I could just be dead this turn because uh, those uh, that, that doesn't look too good. Oh, 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 ouch. Ouch. Ooh. Painful. Painful. Okay, okay. I say we, we go again. Ooh, ooh, maybe I need a little bit more interaction, potentially. Or I could go Naya Colors. I must admit, it would be a, a definitely, definitely unexpected. Quite fun indeed. I, yeah, let's let's go again. That was good. If you want to go again, of course. I mean, I am up to face anybody else if you're interested in firing up your Brawl deck. It's going to be a bit of a brawl. Not too much because, well, I don't know. I guess it is a little bit easier to build, perhaps. You can only have one ofs of things, so you just choose uh, the best stuff. Sarith has never done that before, huh? Huh. All right, yeah. Yeah, cut. If you have a brawl deck, definitely, definitely I'm up for it. Or anybody else, uh, you may be lurking. Yeah, this, hey, I, I definitely would have preferred to take a little bit more than five minutes, but decent enough. Decent enough for five minutes. Passable. Yeah. Pretty easy. Just add all my old favorites, a little bit of interaction going to do something and that hand is going to do something to oh my good friend my absolute fantastic buddy marauding raptor man man it's been months months since i've seen that guy oh good friend love him could it be nice to possibly get galta fast early this could be quite deadly indeed Huh. Like Rampaging Raptor, not attacking with it. Wingbane Van. Uh, uh. Pugnacious Hammer Skull is a little bit better. Better overall reduction with that power plus marauding. We can't play Galta that turn, but well, it's it's gonna do all right. I hope. Hopefully, a bit of interaction. However, Wingbane Vantasaur very nice because we can conjure a naturalize into our hand, and then we can use that naturalize to destroy Leyline of Abundance because things are going a little bit downhill. Definitely going downhill, as long as there's no removal on the big G. Golly G. Ooh, love it. Okay, okay, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Lots of tappy potential. Four mana with those two. Eight. Sarith. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Bigger and better. What's going to happen? 
I don't think too much can happen, but... Oh, they're tapped. Never mind. I just got to attack. All right. Let's see what happens. Hopefully good stuff. Wait until one thing maybe taps, and then they cast a thing, and in response to the thing being cast, with them being tapped, I could target them with the trumpeting carnosaur there. Maybe. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Good. Take the Brambo Familiar out, so I save Galta and punch through enough damage, I hope. Cross my fingers. Whew! Phew! All right. Good. Good, good, good. I was... Uh, yes, good game. Uh, very scary stuff, especially because the Death Touch would have traded with Galta, wouldn't have quite been enough, and I wouldn't have been able to play any other creature in my hand at the moment. I hopefully would have drawn a land. Commune probably would have got it, but it still would have held me off of the Rampaging Raptor and the Wingbane Vantasaur. The darn removal. I was hoping. To, uh, play, oh, the plane crash. I forgot the plane crash. Actually, I got something right after. Don't push it. Don't push it. I'll give you a war you won't believe. Yeah, the, don't push it. In a friendly way. Of course, Rambo wasn't too friendly. It isn't normally friendly, but just leave Rambo alone. Be his buddy. Never mind, that's not what I'm doing. Cancel, cancel, cancel. We're not playing skeletons. We're playing brawl here. Yeah. Yeah, if, uh, if you want to go again or cut, if you've found your brawl deck, I'll wait a bit. Rambo is MVP. Absolutely. We've got John Cena. You mash together John Cena and Rambo and... Uh, whew, the opponent is going to be... Uh, what? what in the hell just happened? How did he do that? You want to see cut play? Okay. Okay. Well, we'll wait around and maybe talk about the deck a little bit. Skeletons, brush up on it. Almost there. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. I don't know. I like the ramping potential. I like the ley line of abundance. Very nice to see the ley line come out, especially with a brawl deck. Being 100 cards, seeing one specific thing and one key thing as that ley line is. That must have been extra satisfying, I would think. Ah. Uh, maybe I'll look for some little bit more removal. Maybe I have enough. It's hard to say, of course. Uh, ten. I think the rough numbers have ten-ish pieces of removal in a brawl deck, in a 100 deck. Oh. Using the dorks to block and tap. Very nice stuff. Very painful. They're tapped. Maybe you don't have anything to use that mana for, but with... Sarith, the Viper's Fang, any creature that is tapped as Death Touch, you think, oh, it's just going to be a chump blocker. But it's the best chump blocker now, because now it trades with whatever creature it is blocking. That is uh, scary. I imagine it catches quite a few opponents off guard. They forget about that point. Oh, oh, they tapped, and then they're like, oh, wait. It didn't make a whole lot of sense for me to attack into that Sarith opponent. Because they can do that nasty combination. Hmm. Maybe I'll keep it with something green. I like Cosmic Hunger. Big stuff. Nature's Way as well. I always thought that was quite interesting. Anything that can give vigilance either to every creature or just one like this does but one in the green even though it is sorcery speed target creature you control gains vigilance and trample until end of turn deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control you don't get to target a planeswalker unfortunately but 
The Vigilance and Trample a very nice package, although not super useful. Finn, the Finn the Fang Bear. Oh. Where's Finn? Hmm. Finn would be quite deadly. Certainly with uh, Sarith, every tapped creature having death touch, natural, and perfect synergy with this. Very much so. Hmm. And Bloated Contaminator. Oh, I, I should think about Bloated Contaminator. Huh. Good to go. All right, all right. Save and exit. Okay, I think we're... I think we're good. Friendly Brawl. All right. Okay. Hopefully I get to see Galta... Primal Hunger, crossing my fingers, cross my claws, Aluna, Apex of Wishes. Okay, so we got a Tamer variation. This looks like an absolutely fantastic hand. Four lands, just a bunch of ramping. Hopefully seeing some sort of payoff coming up. I don't know, I don't really have much time for watching. Basically, at least for me, it is always playing all the time. If I do have time to potentially watch something, I just think to myself, ooh, I'd kind of rather be playing instead, because if I'm not playing, I'm, I'm not getting ahead. Something like that. If I'm not playing, I'm not winning. Yeah. I'm also not losing, but hey. Oh, oh, we tamer, uh, toxic, something. Something that might not be a whole lot of fun, but Sylvan Scrying at some point. we got to use it. I say we use it now. And uh, Commercial District. Where is Commercial District? I maybe I'll grab something that enters untapped eventually. I guess I can go with Thunderherd Migration too. That's a lot of good ramp. I like it. I like it. Oh, I've always been competitive. It's, I've kept it from when I was young. I've only gotten maybe more competitive, perhaps. Kind of like Xenagos, but again, I also like that Forerunner. I want to see Ripjaw a little bit more and hope there's no counter spells. Ooh. Ooh. This is a load of barnacles. That's okay. We we got some uh, some good stuff. We'll uh, leave it behind. I do imagine I could have attacked with the intrepid paleontologist, I guess. But uh, yeah, yeah, I've definitely only gotten more and more competitive. However, Aluna coming down. I always thought Aluna was a pretty good dinosaur, a beast elemental dinosaur. Whenever it mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you. Exile a non-land card and put it onto the battlefield. Of course, there could be some hits and misses. You could get a dork or something, but you get a free thing. And I would imagine some more mutate creatures, so that effect is going to continue to happen. Hmm. Blue is pretty... Okay. Ooh, that's rough. Pretty painful. Invasion of Ixlan also pretty good. Huh. Ouch. I like the looks of this. Okay, what can I do? Good. Something good. Xenagos would be lovely stuff, but doubling Intrepid Paleontologist to make it a 4-4 does not pack a very big punch. I kind of like Colossal Dactyl. It is something, certainly not nothing, but two, four. Uh, let's see what Invasion of Ikoria gets. Cast it for four. And uh, search my library. Hmm. I like the Hulking Raptor for mana, potentially. I would imagine we're mostly maybe dead. Actually, I kind of like the Stalwart Speartail. Haven't seen that guy enough. Kind of was thinking of doing an alchemy dinosaurs 
potentially with this just because it is the enraged dinosaur hmm. four copies whenever it's dealt damage other dinosaurs you control and dinosaurs in your hand and library get plus one plus one per oh never mind terror of the peaks oh boy i think that is going to be it okay Ooh. ouch maybe maybe not well, we're at 21 we could survive this perhaps tamer mutate though i like it i like it i don't think i'm busting through that no no time soon who well hey at least stalwart spear tail was dealt damage i get to make everybody a little bit bigger and uh still be dead draw nothing play the earth shaker dread mod just because it's kind of cool to see the purple name on it just because i don't play alchemy too much that would be pretty good i want to see what gets hit off of turn timber symbiosis i guess nothing well that will that will do it that was a pretty good game indeed lovely lovely stuff yeah i think i'll end it there for tonight exactly midnight so it is no longer april fools at least for me my time but i think that was pretty good one more april fools in the books I like playing skeletons. Nice to do something different, but nice to continue a sort of tradition nowadays. I always thought I would have some sort of tradition when I first started this. And uh, yeah, that darn blue. Ooh, it was a good game. I was, I was, well, Galta does the trick, especially seeing the potential of that early Galta. Not having some removal, the disdainful stroke was pretty darn fantastic too. Oh. Yes, thanks for playing Scorpion Cut. Thanks for watching as well. JDX, if you're watching later on, Mad Dad Lab, anybody, anybody and everybody, another good one. Have a good one. Have a good rest of your time zone. Get some good rest whenever it is, wherever it is, and see you next time. Peace. Play the plane one more time. One more time. Pshh. Yes, Allosaurus Shepherd. That Allosaurus Shepherd would have been good. Ah, okay.